Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. I'm Omenos and today I will react to the top 10 uh, artists who rarely appear in the music videos. Almost fucked it up. The thumbnail is Gorillaz. Um, big fan of the Gorillaz. Uh, yeah, they barely show up in the music video or yeah, in their music videos. Almost right, almost right. Uh, I've watched this list already because, you know, because Gorillaz was a relatively short video, you know, it was pretty much like made for me almost. Um, who else on the list? Tool, you know, gotta love that. Uh, who else? Fatboy Slim, yeah, he was in there. Dead Mouse was in there. Yeah, artists like that. Can't really think of anything, really. Was that it? No. Bjork, yeah, Bjork. I can't really think of anything else, so yeah, let's just go at the video. Oh, yeah, yeah, Death Punk, of course. So there you go. So, you know, the guys from Polyester Girl, I believe they made it, which is the slideshow for the video. So there we go. Watch closely because you may miss them if they were even there. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And so today we'll Def down the Starting off with Death Punk and Tool, you got my attention. Ten artists who rarely appear in their music videos. <laughs> Before we begin, publish content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified. Just kidding. <laughs> For this list, we're looking at singers and Gorillaz to see on the background. Dead Mouse. That was a really brief shot of Dead Mouse, though. Artist or group tends to produce, as well as those brief moments where they've made an appearance or why they never choose to appear at all. I can not reach those notes. If you're not watching closely, why does she do that though? What? Although Swedish producer Tim Burling's why? music videos attract millions of views on YouTube, you really oh, still a bit too high because of the uh, <laughs> Like I don't need to hear Avicii this high. Thank you very much. Instead, he used actors to play out narratives for his predominant EDM and Yeah, like a banging chick in your music video riding a horse. And Vichy knows what, she, what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. The video briefly shows snippets of him DJing on stage. Meanwhile, in the 2015 360 degree music video for Waiting for Love, Avicii appears several times walking in and Like I want to like Avicii though, you know. He well he was a pretty big name in EDM, you know, Levels is a good song, I would say. You know, you know, I fuck with that song, I fuck with that song. Uh, here's a claim, so, you know, I do like him, but, you know, he's dead, of course, now, so, you know, that's the end of it. Like, it was really fucked up, I was watching, like, an EDM kind of list by Watch Mojo the other day, um, and they were saying, um, we're just wondering what he's gonna do next. Kill himself, like, kill yourself, sure. fuck no. This Australian electronica flavored all like, that was messed up. ...for their unique music videos that convey their artistic creativity. Artistic creativity, showing like a, a big titted girl in a really weird 3D animation style. Like what the fuck? Full length album in 1996. The band has been heavily influenced by cover art and old movies, which is further illustrated through many of their music videos, like Polyester Girl. Videos like Fat Cop and the synth. The song formerly known as. Track, the song uh, show band members singing to their song in the music video. A explanation mark. The animated versions of the band members appear in the 1998 Pac-Man-esque music video for I Like Your Old Remix Better Than Your New Remix, making it a pretty clever non-appearance. Like 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 <laughs> That's a good title. It's a good chorus too. Like most I haven't heard of this. Actors as visual elements for their music, this English progressive trance trio is no different. Oh yeah. It's uh, techno? It's electro, electronic. I do like it though, but yeah, you know. Images of the band appear on a banner in the 2012 song Alchemy, and a photograph held by an actor in the 2015 song Counting Down the Days. While rare, there are videos where above and beyond appear on video, like in the 2009 bit for... Well, that's your fit as fuck though, for the events. It's kinda... It's Alright. That's decent. Number seven, Skrillex. 
Dubstep producer Sonny Moore sees music videos as a creative outlet rather than a self-branding scheme. Unpopular opinion, I like Skrillex. I'm not joking. I like his debut EP, I believe he followed that up with his other EP, Bangarang, which is a good EP, I would say. Which actually made the list of 25 best, uh, I believe, or no, no, 30 best EDM albums. And it was like almost top 10, like what? Like that much was like at the bottom of the list, and um, Skrillex almost almost was in the top ten. Like what? Like I, I, I like Skrillex, but that much was way better. I mean, that much fucking created Skrillex. I'm pretty sure. For example, tracks like uh, Reese, yeah, I do like Reese too. You know his debut album. I'm not a big fan of uh, Are You Happy Now or something. You know that remix with Justin Bieber. Like what? Yeah. These videos are driven by creative narratives. Like, I don't like that though, but... There is another artist featured on his track. For example, in Purple Amber... Yeah, and uh, Breaking a Sweat, I believe, he was collaborating with the Doors, or the remaining Doors members. ...appears alongside the other song artists frequently. He looks so out of place there. Like he's trying to hang with the squad, but he, you know, he's a skinny, pale white kid. Dead mouse. Canadian DJ and producer Joel Zimmerman is ready. Joel Zimmerman and Jared Way. <laughs> like, fuck yes. Not a big MCR fan, but... Jared has the look, so come on. ...for ghosts and stuff as the main character. He also appears both masked and unmasked in the video for Professional Grave Roots. These videos are very different styles compared to his animated music videos for songs like The Belt and Telemis Communications, which he doesn't even make an animated appearance. Number five. I love this song. The American Rock. Number five. Tool. The American Rock. Hell yeah. That the reason why they rarely appear in their music videos is because they want listeners to enjoy the music rather than latch onto personalities. They have been making videos since the 1990s, mostly using stop motion animation and surreal graphics influenced by fantastical and science fiction elements. That said, Tool appeared in their first 1992 music video for Hush. It featured band members naked with their private areas covered by parental advisory signs and their mouths covered by duct tape, which, perhaps in retrospect, was a statement of some kind. Something. Just kidding. Let it play out with my fucking hell. Let it play out with Mojo. Come on now. Like that actor of weapon of choice, he is awesome. He's been awarded on many occasions for his videos. Like I believe he's one of the most serious actors out there, and then seeing seeing him moving around in the Fat Boy Slim video, like hell yeah. Not right. Yeah, there he is. Curiously watching the dancers for a few seconds, and then walks off to the right. Meanwhile, Cook appears in the introduction portion of the video for the Joker with the winner of the Fat Boy Slim video contest. This is weird though. Like some kitties. It's cute though. But... Gorillas. Gorillas gained notoriety for never appearing in music videos. This has led the English band to become one of the most famous virtual bands in the world. Pop, electronic, rap, and reggae to be digitally animated characters that drive the narratives of their music videos. These animated That's pretty much my favorite song right there. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but. Strobe Light. I haven't really listened to the new Gorillaz album, I've just listened to the first four albums, I believe. Uh, and I want to listen to these sides too. I believe it's like an awesome compilations album. I've saved it though, but I haven't listened to it yet. Number two, Daft Punk. 
Yeah, boy. Years until Daft Punk finally made an appearance in their music videos. Electronic duo Emmanuel de Homem Cristo and Thomas Spangalter are well known for hiding behind robot helmets on stage and anywhere else. The music videos for the 2001 album Discovery featured only anime characters. In the 2005 song Technologic, the duo appears with their helmets on the pyramid shaped stage playing headless basses. <laughs> I cannot say it for the life of me. Like I'm trying, but and although they're still masked, feel miserably. Number one, Sia. Australian singer-songwriter Sia is famous like, for the mystery. Like, what are they basing these lists of? Like, how much they appear on the music videos? How rarely it is, you know, they show up. How? Great, the artist is in question. Like, what what are they basing these lists on? However, before her music videos became a young dancer Maddie Ziegler, Sia appeared in them herself. In early what is that metaphorically speaking to? Breathe Me, released in 2004, Sia is the focal point of the music video. Yeah, they probably go over of how much she appears in the music video because I haven't seen Sia in one music video, honestly. Like, I know she's pretty old. But I don't know. Sia hid behind her iconic straight blonde wig and used actors and dancers to feature in her music videos. Although she hopes to maintain anonymity, her heartfelt appearance in early music videos. Like she has used it, she wants to stay low key. Like, yeah. Like, I appreciate Sia, but she's a bit too obnoxious for me, honestly. Like all of her songs sound the same to me. But she's a claim though, so I do not like her, but nah. Yeah, so there you go. Good list. Uh, yeah, I've actually still some time to look at the comments because, you know, I believe I had 22 minutes of recording time and it's only 12 minutes, so that was relatively short. So it's probably gonna be a bad video. I'm a simple man, I see gorillas, I click. Admit, I made it 99% of those who clicked. On this video, only came for gorillas. There you go. Only click for gorillas. <laughs> I love that. Like, it's almost like where Mojo, uh, you know, puts these comments back to back. Like, uh, 99% is for gorillas, and then the next comment, only click for gorillas. <laughs> like, that's probably the most perfect order of comments I've ever seen. <laughs> Like starting over the gorilla. Oh, that was terrible, by the way. <laughs> what I just did. That that first that first comment was perfect. You know, the second one lining it up, and the third one finishing it. Like hell yeah, I don't click for gorillas. Y'all click because of the thumbnail. Like a lot of people love gorillas, by the way. So there we go. You know, I love them too. So there we go. Only came for gorillas. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, gorillas. <laughs> System. I mean, yeah, all gorillas comments. If it's a good song, it doesn't bother me. Exactly. Like the only non gorillas uh, comment on there. I'm here for gorillas, your original. It's one of my favorite progressive rock band. Fatboy Slim, Weapon of Choice, still rock to this day. Why did you say that in that order? Just make two different comments, I guess. Or make two different, you know. Uh, I don't know, fuck, <laughs> do whatever. Gorillas, gorillas. Number one, literally all indie arts, most of them are just uh, AMVs. I don't know what that means. I don't know too, too would it be in here. Like, they were only on their first, only on their third music video, I believe. So, yeah. And I believe on the sober, I believe Adam Jones was in that one. So, if anything, Tool should be on number one because they were only in one music video, but whatever. Whatever. Uh H2O Delirious. Uh I haven't watched the guy in forever. Like yeah, yeah, you know, if you don't know the guy, um, you know, Van I'm not a big fan of Vandal, like I believe I unsubscribe from him. He might he might be still good though, but you know, I don't really like him anymore. But you know, it's basically the gang of people, um, you know, what's the thing? Um, you know, playing, you know, it's kind of like something, 
uh, you know, it's like the sidemen or something, you know, sidemen are relevant to me, not really. Then, you know, sidemen are more real to me, and they're British, so <laughs> come on now. Um, I, you know, I believe partially Venels is, you know, they're partially British too, I think. Venels is Canadian, doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter. But I'm personally more of a, um, of a sideman fan than uh, Venels, honestly, but that's of course debatable. And <laughs> probably most of you guys don't even care anyway, so there we go. And there was like one guy competing with Venels, like, you know, he was, uh, he was like the OG, uh, you know, gay, well, what's the word? You know, dual gamer, you know, uh, a g game group. I forgot his name. But I believe Venom was heavily inspired by the guy and eventually they surpassed him and you know that channel just kind of died and Venom is like one of the biggest YouTubers now so How is his channel called again? I forgot Like I, I believe I'm not subscribed to them anymore because their videos were just trash I thought you know recently So I just unsubscribed and I believe from Venom too but whatever how are they called again? Fucking hell. Uh, I don't know, but at one point they were competing with... Well, you know, I'm just gonna look this up, you know. Might as well look it up for a bit before ending the video. Now I want to say Acer Delirium, but that's, you know, it's a member of Venels. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue, honestly, but I, I forgot. Just type in uh, called funny or something and you will probably find it. Vandals Gaming, of course. Yeah, and you know, uh, Vandals is like the biggest and... Um, the other guy doesn't even show up anymore. Like, uh, no, I, I want to say... No, there was a guy in there called Basically or something. I haven't watched Vandals in forever. Or Vandals or that other channel for that matter. Walt. Yeah, uh, Speedy W03. Like, that's such a forgettable name, honestly. Like, fucking no. hell. Yeah, Vandals has like. Uh, quad the views that. Or quad the subs that uh, Speedy has now. And he hasn't uploaded in three weeks, so it's pretty dead at this point. So, thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see in a comment video. Yeah, uh, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Let me know if you watch any of those channels. I used to, but, you know, might as well get back into them a bit. I don't know. We will see. Or, you know, for, for your case, you don't care anyway. So, peace.